Hello everyone, this is the Svelte Master, and I'm going to teach you how to use CSS in Svelte today. So first you'll see um, I have my app.svelte component here. This is like the main component that is rendered to the screen. And I got my piggy component, which is just an image. So components can just be just plain HTML like that. Uh, if you wanted to add some functionality into it, you're going to have a script. And if you want to add some styles into it, some CSS, you're going to have a style. But here is that you get the HTML part, style part, and script part. And same here, the app just has a script part. So I'm going to add a style part. Okay. And so um, you'll see here I imported Piggy from Piggy.svelte. And then you can just use Piggy over and over again as many times as you want. Three Piggies. And let's say I want to have um, a app container class equals app container to put these around. Can I know? Put this down here. Okay, so now they're wrapped in this app container, and here I can um, dot app container. I can target this uh, app container. So maybe I want to do padding 100 pixels, and it'll give it some padding there. Uh, which doesn't look great, but that's what it's doing. Now, let's say I wanted to target this here. I cannot do something like .app container piggy. That's not going to work. Even, I think, if I do image, and let's say I say background, or sorry, um, border radius is 100%. Uh, oops. Border radius 100%, that's not going to do anything to these because these are these are piggies these aren't images um, so what you can do here is let me just comment that out oh you can't do that here I'm gonna move that over here and put it right there take out that and that's gonna work because the image here is gonna target the image right here so it's all inside here um, it'll just target what's over whatever is right there but it won't target whatever is inside here if you're not actually in this piggy thing. Uh, but one thing you can do to get around that is instead of image right here, you can do global, you wrap it in this global tag image. So now when I take that out, it's still working there. So you'll see if I take, oh, yeah, see, it goes away. So now I can target it. Uh, and then rather than it being encapsulated inside here, um, it lets me have a global, um, anything global to the whole app. So anything that's inside app container that is an image will be affected by this. And this image is inside, so it's affected. Uh, so, yep, that's that.